Hey, what's up guys? This is Atone here, and thank you for coming to watch this video. First off, I just want to apologize. It's kind of bad audio quality, and yeah, I just want to let you guys know I'm recording on a Razer headset, so boom. Real quick, I do want to say, if I do sound nervous or a little bit scripted or something, I did write myself some notes just to go off of, because honestly, I just got to keep track and make sure I'm doing things right. But yeah, I don't do this too often, so be warned. Alright, so starting off, for the first thing on my list for the top 10 upcoming designs of 2019 is 3D designs. So, whether abstract 3D design or not, I think we'll be seeing a lot more of these in advertisements and websites in 2019. My example for this is a video I put in this that we're going to watch right now. And what it is, it's a really cool 3D animation for a company called Pop and it's by State Design so all um, all examples will be listed in the description as well as on the screen just to make sure you guys can actually check out the projects so all of these have full projects along with the designs that I chose I think this is really cool because it gives advertisers a chance to show more of their product show maybe like you see here more interesting um, interesting video about products or about a company. Okay, so the next example for 3D designs is a shoe render by what I'm assuming is a team called Byshift. And this shoe render is so cool. The project is amazing. So what they did is a bunch of designers got together. They wanted to make their own shoe and they just did it. So it's pretty cool. It's an, it's an example of how um, advertisers can use this. Also, it shows some of the other traits that we're going to be talking about here in a minute. Okay, the next example of trends that we're going to see in 2019 are a lot of very saturated designs. And what I mean by that are very colorful or very bright, vibrant colors. So I remember seeing a lot of sort of dark, like, um, desaturated colors, like black and white-ish. So... One of the things that's been happening late 2018 into 2019 are very saturated, saturated designs. And I don't think those are going anywhere. Very eye-catching, very colorful. I have two examples from Elio. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but he's linked right there. A really cool project, and you should definitely go check it out. All right, so next up in the list is typography. So mixes of colorful fonts, manipulated letters, making different, like, maybe 3D, maybe illustrated. The example I have for you here is some of both. And I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is a bunch. It's like a compilation of letters that were rendered, I think. I think some might have been illustrated. But they're by David Samuel and Vincent Hardy. Very cool project, a really in-detail project as well. So make sure to go check that out. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this for commercials, companies, stuff like that. Just really cool eye-catching. All right, next up. Okay, so next up on the list, we have um, isometric designs. So these are pretty cool designs. It's like a either an illustration or a 3D render, and they are very, very cool. The example I have right here is by a guy I know online called Yogish, hopefully I'm saying it right. But yeah, really cool, really cool designs. I linked his project in the description. He has a bunch more projects. Make sure to go check them out. But there are just tons of cool isometric designs. I know they they look simple, but at the same time, they look so cool and you can get so detailed. So yeah, make sure to check those out. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of these in illustrations as well as websites in 2019. All right, next up, we have duo tones. So this is where you take a picture and you kind of manipulate it so it has a halftone reproduction and superimposition of one contrasting color halftone over another color halftone. I definitely didn't just read the definition of that, but they look really, really cool. And the example I have is from Corey Silva. And man, these just look awesome. I remember Spotify does quite a bit of this already. So it'll be cool to see it used more in advertisements. I can definitely see it in commercials and stuff like that happening. So there you go. OK, 
Okay, so next up we have open composition. This is a sort of broken border type of design where you break the normal feel of having a picture inside a square or a circle or whatever. Uh, I'm really excited to see more of this kind of stuff. The example on the screen is from Yazan al Salamala. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's just a really cool thing where you don't really have everything in the design in one simple square. You kind of just put it on the page. It works really well with websites. I've seen it a few times, but I can't wait to see more of it. Okay, next up we have smooth designs. So this is kind of a vague, vague category, I should say. So it's just smooth, clean patterns, clean gradients combined with smooth shapes and just shading. Wow. And I've included two examples, Justin Beckard and uh, Omar Oak Oakwill. And these two are very, very cool examples of smooth designs. Make sure to check them out. Um, yeah, they both have very cool Behance projects and um, good ideas behind the designs they made. So yeah, make sure to check them out and on to the next one. Okay, last but definitely, definitely not least, we have patterns and gradients. So you're going to be seeing a lot more patterns and gradients coming in 2019. We saw quite a few in 2018, but I think it's really going to come out in 2019. So high color as well in these gradients. So these aren't like subtle gradients. These are just bold in your face. It's just awesome. The two examples I have are from the same person, Eleven. And this person is so cool. Uh, I've spoken to her a few times and great work. Her work is like the perfect example of what I'm talking about here. So yeah, make sure to check out the Behance project as well as her other project. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Check out my Behance portfolio. See what, what kind of work I do and what kind of work I'm going to be doing in the future. And hope you guys have a great day. See you later.